And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rapping like that. He's putting in all that work for the league to tell you no like capping it. Cause you're not a, oh, cause you're not not a, a star. star. You from, from a, a city called Pontiac. Pontiac nobody, nobody in your, your family, family got, got a, a car. car. You're not even mm. that nice. You're not even that nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 just get right into it, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Also, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Pop Smokes. Pop Smoke. Out of Brooklyn, man. Very sad, unfortunate situation. If you haven't heard. Um. I'm gonna get right into this recap, and I know y'all wondering where is my guy Showtime SP. Um. We both peeped this battle. Uh. A time I watched it once and a half, and um. He he was like he's good. He said he was good. He was like, you know, we, 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 it, it didn't do it for either either one of us. Um, so, uh, you know, he, he got the night off. So but what I will say is this. Um, he did send me his notes of what he wanted me to say about the battle or whatever the case may be. Um, I'll say this for those who haven't seen it, right? I look at JC as... A MC that a lot, I want good for JC, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, yo, I want him to do good. I'd be wanting the Luxes and the Surfs and everybody that he wants to um, battle, you know what I'm saying? I'd be wanting those battles for him. I'm like, yo, JC's been putting in a lot of work. He's been around for a long time. He's been smoking things, you know what I'm saying? But I've always said that there's another level of star power that's required in order to make it to the top, top, top level. And there's a couple of MCs, but I don't really don't feel like going back and forth with nobody on Twitter today. So I'm not gonna say who, but you guys know, you know what I'm saying? Excuse my voice, you know what I'm saying? A little under the weather, but I can still fuck with whoever, so don't get it twisted. But uh, yeah, 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 take your man's up, put his hands up, but let's, um. so there's a different level of star power that's required to make it to these big levels. If you see Sue Surf, like, okay, we all get it. Surf don't win no battle. Surf has debatables, debatables, debatables. But the things that he does outside the ring and the things that he does musically and the way that he promotes himself and the way that he, he makes people buy tickets and fill up venues. Surf is on the car, people are going to see it. Goods is on the car, people are going to see it. Tay Rock is on the car, people are going to see it. And I'm just naming people all who JC has a better pen than. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about the best pen. You know what I'm saying? People have said this before. If, if pen mattered the most, people like JC, people like Danny Myers, people like uh, even Excel. Excel writes better than a lot of people. But like I said, it's that next level that I feel like is needed. Um, and that's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a small platform. Uh, you know, I do my own thing and it is what it is. But, uh, and yeah, promo's available. Salute to my man K100. I put a song out there, got a lot of reaction. I went to the channel, I watched some of the videos. People was really talking about it. So, if you're interested in that kind of promo, rice game, clothing at gmail.com, or by the fly on Twitter, get at it, nigga. But, um, so, Charlie Clips comes into this battle, and there's some things that they obviously, these, these are their, I could tell you the, the main points, the things that they talked about. They talked about the fact that they battled before. They talked about the fact that JC danced. They talked about uh, Charlie Clips' grandma's cooking. They talked about Charlie Clip. Um, Charlie Clips talked about battling um, JC on an app and shit. You do all these things, thinking that you're gonna get Lux and Surf, but the league still tells you no, like Kaepernick, because you're not a star. You from a city called Pontiac, and nobody in your family got a car. He was doing things that he did. In the past, versus people with the mad um, current events, but like using them as punches, you know, the, the energy sold separately, but batteries included and shit like that. And talking about like all of the things that Charlie Clips used to do, he was doing, but he was bringing it to this day and age. He had three rounds. Uh, he, he every round he said, you know, I'm I'm doing you dirty. But I just got paid to do two minutes and 30. He did that in the first round, the second round, and in the third. He wrapped a little bit longer than the 2.30. But uh, JC, it was just like he had bars. Like he does the thing with the bars and the pen. 
but it was like some dry spots and I don't really have a whole lot like I'm thinking of memory y'all like what I have in my memory because I'm gonna be honest with you I only watched the battle once and I started watching it again but I probably won't and my man Showtime SP let me get his opinion what he said Showtime what you said Showtime what you said bro what you said bro huh what you want me to do to him what you want me to do to him what you want me to do to him I'm from calling Nav I'm from calling Nav um my man said Showtime SP said Charlie was more simple and JC wasn't complex enough. It took too long for JC to heat up when Clips was cooking out the gate. Clips sang, Shang sung JC in the second round, but the standing out like a heroin nod addict, you know, standing out like a heroin nod addict from JC was fire. I got Charlie Clips first and third. I basically got Charlie Clips first and third too. Um, JC had bars. Not gonna take nothing away from his bars, but uh, it was just bars. Like he's he's rapping, he got his ear pods in and shit like that. And it, I don't know, like it's just something about when somebody's like rapping or battling and has ear pods in, or like when they have their gloves on and their coat on, like Rum Nitty when he did Versailles. It's like I don't even know, like they're just trying to get in, get their shit done, and leave. You know what I'm saying? Like so, what I will say is, um, JC is a prolific writer. Uh, but just the bars, like having bars and writing good, it doesn't always mean you're winning the battles, you know what I'm saying? And there will be some folks who feel like JC got it. And I'm not mad at that, but at the same time, Charlie Clips is literally able to rap about what's going on currently, rap about their past battle, was literally able to rap about their past battle, rap about a whole bunch of other shit, and it just basically was like, I'm better than you. It was like, a, it was kind of like one of those I'm better than you battles. Like, no matter what you do, I'm going to joke on you. I'm going to talk crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about the Chris um, B2K or whatever else. That same angles that's been used on JC for 75 years. And I'm going to make the crowd laugh. And I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to do it in 2.30. So, with that being said, I feel like JC... I'm not off the JC versus Lux train or JC versus Sue Surf train, but the train it is pulling in that station. I'm not. It's pulling in at the station. I'm not off of it. And even if it pulls in at the station, I don't have to get off. I can go over and keep on going. But it is definitely pulling up. The next stop is Jackson Avenue. Stand clear to closing doors on this motherfucker. It is definitely rolling in. I'm just going to be honest with you. Be honest. I'm keeping it a buck. But, um,. Like I said, I'm not throwing JC under the bus, or I'm not saying that he's not good. I'm just saying in that particular performance, it was Charlie Clips was beatable. He was very beatable. This was a performance that JC should have took clearly, took advantage of. He should have Jerry West Louisied him, like got him all the way up out of here. And when I watched the battle, I don't get that. I watched it once. I watched it a little bit twice and I just didn't, I was like, you know what, I got better things to do. Showtime SP, he got the night off for it. Matter of fact, the one day we was going to do it, he said he was good. Yesterday we was going to do it, I fell asleep. So I was like, oh man, if it's not even interesting me to stay up to, to, to recap it, then I don't know. You know, shaky with the hands, shaky with the hands. But uh, hopefully uh, he does better versus O-Red. But with the, I, he's got to level it up in the O-Red performance. Like, he damn near has to, he, if he's going to have to really, like, show out versus O-Red. I'm talking about Shotgun Shield show out. Because I've seen him do it. Like, I've seen him do it before. Like, come on, Jay. That, it, I don't know. It's just, and he's supposed to be a god in these small rooms. I've seen him wild out versus um, Gichi Gotti. So he has the talent. He definitely has the talent to do it. But I don't know. It's just this one to me. It really didn't do it for me. It's one of those battles that if I don't see again, it won't be soon enough. And you know what I mean? Like, he's, he, he's, and that was one that we were excited for. Like, yo, JC versus Clips. Yo, like, like, you just think of all of the possibilities of where it could have went to. And where it could have went to, it didn't get to. I'm just being honest with you. Um, and this is one of the few recaps that we'll do without notes and quotes and jokes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of people, this is, all, this is the way a lot of people recap their battles, and I see why, because this is the easy way right here. When you ain't got to take no notes, you ain't got to have no notes, you ain't got no balls, you just say why you feel like somebody won, 
This is the easiest way to recap a battle. I like this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? I might get all I'm <laughs> tough, fuck. Dog, if I can do it like this, I ain't got to guy. I ain't taking no notes. I'm just telling you, look, I, this is who I feel like one and this is why. Fuck it. You ain't like it. Nah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but no, seriously, we'll probably still recap in the way that we do. I think that's um what the people want. What's the people want? So we're gonna give them what they want. Uh, in other news, uh, A Verb, Shotgun Shook going back and forth. Shotgun Shook saying that he could out rap or out bar. Um, Verb, I put up a poll yesterday asking, um, did do y'all think that Shotgun Shook could out rap or out bar? Verb, I think Shook, Shook, I think you're down like 80 to 10 or 80 to 19 or some. It was some crazy ass numbers. Uh, what's the poll? What's the poll? Come on, my G's. What's the poll? Uh, I think last time I checked, it was like. You're down 81 to 19. 81% to 19%. And that poll has almost 2,000 votes. So, niggas, a lot of people ain't giving you a chance, Shug. A lot of people ain't giving you a chance, Shug. But you know what? You betting on yourself. He said he was even willing to bet money on himself. So, you know what? Who am I to tell you what you can versus can't do? Uh, you're saying that you want verb in a room like Gnome or something like that. Uh, hey, you know what? Go for it. That's what I said, go for it. Hey, if they're going to book it, go for it. Put your best foot forward and we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that you only dunks and, and, and big power action moves. But I, I feel like, you know, I've seen you in scenarios where I liked what you did. I like what you did versus Av. There's other battles that I liked what you did. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we gonna to see if, you, if you're going to bring that energy if you get a verb. And the way y'all been talking back and forth, you probably already got him. I don't know if you already got him. But that's the way that the shit be in battle rap. Once a nigga starts going back and forth with somebody on Twitter, they either got them or they putting something out there like, yo, test the water. See what the fans are going to see. We need to see what they're going to see. Then you get a couple people to blog about it, you know what I'm saying, the me's, the other folks, you know what I'm saying. They start talking about it, and it's like, all right, cool, we can book this, you know what I'm saying. Check sent, deposits are there, you know what I'm saying. We promoting these fights. We should start getting a, a little, they just start hitting your cat. Cha ching thank you for promoting this fight. You know what I'm saying? But I know it don't be like that. The league's cheap like that. So, uh, anyway, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Uh, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Young Life lost way too soon. Um, this And we keep having the same conversation over and over and over. But I tell, um, it, it, it's really indicative about, I think this one comes down to social media. Um, a lot of people like to show what they've got. I've been guilty of this in my own life, you know what I'm saying? At times we put out what we got. Some people like to show where they live. I don't really show my, I never show my address and no shit like that. But, um, you know, he, he basically got caught slipping. Even if what happened to him was a planned hit, he got caught slipping because the word is he was giving the address out, trying to get chicks to come over. They was having a party and shit like that. And people was at the house. And everybody that's there for you ain't there for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they come to your house. They see you got pools. They see you got this. Pool tables, backyards, plasma screens, money all over the place. Big joy. They not there to see you win like that. Like, like no. Nah. They, they say nowadays, fellas, you need to watch what you got. Because nowadays, the niggas want your shit more than the females do. We be, they be putting on trying to impress chicks so much and the niggas want your shit more than the bitches do. And that's a real fact. And you think that if you got something, somebody ain't gonna go all out to get it? Huh? 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 Yeah, right. Niggas will go all out to get it. And it's just a sad scenario that... And the reason why it looks crazy is because he was in the house with more than one person and they strictly went in there to kill him and didn't take anything from him. So that was what makes it look like a hit. But when you post your address online, it just opens up a can of worms. It's like, dog, anybody could have did it. Some niggas sitting at McDonald's on free Wi-Fi could have picked you up your address. Yo, that's right up the street. Yo, we got to go see about that. I don't like that shit. But anyway, man, y'all niggas stay up, man. You already know what it's doing, what it does. Rah! Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dior, Dior. Huh?